Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to bring you guys a review of the Meros Smart Temperature and Humidity Sensor. Now this is the MS100FH, and this is a tiny temperature and humidity sensor that is HomeKit compatible. And this is part of Meros' Smart Sensor range, which includes things like smart radiator valves and also smart smoke alarms. There's reviews for both of those on this channel as well. And at the start of this video, I want to tell you guys that Meros have actually sent me this to review for you guys, which means I haven't actually paid for it. However, when a company reaches out to me, I always say that I will create an honest review. And so that's what this is going to be. And I want to start off by talking about pricing. And if you've not come across Meros before, they are a company who tend to make really affordable HomeKit compatible products. And I've used quite a few of their products in the past, many of which I've actually paid for, and I've always been really impressed. Now, if you don't already have a Meros hub, you're going to need one to work with this product. Likewise, if you've already got a Meros hub that has 16 devices attached to it, you're going to need a second one. This is because the Meros Hub can only work with up to 16 devices. If you do need the Hub, then you'll need the Starter Pack, which includes the Hub and retails at £32. If not, on its own, the sensor is £25. I've put a link below where you can pick up both on the Meros store, and I've also got a voucher code below where you can save 10% off your order. This makes this device, with and without the Hub, a really affordable option, especially given the HomeKit compatibility. So let's talk about the design. So the design is a small disc shaped device which can be mounted to a wall or just placed on a surface. For the most part of it, it is white, but on the front or kind of top, depending on how you fit it, it's got a solar panel, which means it can draw power from sunlight. It has a really nice, small, compact design, which is what you'd really expect given there is no screen on this device itself. You access data via your smartphone. So let's talk about the specification. So if you use it in a light enough place, it will power itself through that panel on top. If you don't, inside there is a CR2477 battery. Now Meros don't actually commit to battery life, but they do say if you've got it in a bright place, you will never ever need to change the battery. And Meros say this is where light is above 150 lux. And if you look at the graph on the Meros website, this is somewhere between a kind of dark day and an office. This means even in a darker place, it will still be getting to charge, which is great. In terms of compatibility, it is compatible with Apple HomeKit, but also compatible with voice assistants from Google and Amazon, and then also compatible with Samsung SmartThings. Inside is a fourth generation Swiss sensor, which is great for ensuring accuracy. And it can detect temperature with an accuracy of 0.54 degrees Fahrenheit and then it detects humidity with a 5% accuracy. In terms of temperature, it can work between minus 15 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius. This means you can use it in a fridge if you want to, and actually this is something Maros show on their website. And then the humidity sensing range is between 0 and 95%. And then finally, if you do use the Maros app and you're gonna need it to install this device anyway, you can get up to two years worth of data stored. So let's talk about setting this device up. So setting this device is really easy. You just start in the Maros app. From there, you hit the plus button in the top and you find the sensor. If you don't already have the hub, it will talk you through setting up the hub as part of this process. And this will include adding the hub to your Apple Home app. You'll then add the sensor and the hub will make it appear automatically in your Apple Home app. What you will then need to do is pop into the Home app and make sure you assign it to the right room. You can also give it a name there as well. And that's it for setup, it is super simple. So let's talk about what it's like to use. And I've been using this for a couple of weeks. And as you guys know, I tend to come at things as an Apple user because that's kind of the primary stuff that I use around my house. And really there are two ways of using it as an Apple user. You either use it through the Apple Home app or the Meros app. So I wanna talk about both. And I wanna start off by talking about the Meros app. So in the Meros app, when you first open it, you will see an overview of all of your Meros products. For this particular device, it will show you the current temperature and humidity right on that home screen. If you click through, you'll see a bit more information. You can then view the historical data by day, week, and month. Clicking the menu icon in the top right will take you through to some more settings and options as well. It's here you can set up alerts for when the temperature and humidity go above or below certain levels. And it's also here you can export the data as a CSV and you can choose to export this between dates and this gets emailed to you. There's also a few other settings here, including the ability to switch between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. In the Meros app, you can also set scenes. So maybe you want to trigger a different Meros device based on the temperature in the house. Maybe you've got a smart plug attached to a heater. This of course is dependent on you having other Meros devices. However, as an Apple user, this is where the Apple Home app really comes in. And actually, I think this is where it's more useful. So as I said, when you set up this temperature and humidity sensor, you also set it up in Apple Home app. In order to view it in the Apple Home app, you can click the climate button at the top, or you can go into the individual room and see the data there. In the individual rooms, it is split by temperature and humidity. Now, I actually have a HomePod mini in my kitchen, which means I have two different temperatures and humidity levels for my kitchen where I put this device. This device, however, is on the opposite side of the room in a cooler area. This is why I can see a range at the top of my kitchen room. 
And of course, having this device in your Apple Home app doesn't just mean you can monitor it wherever you are, but it also means you can use it with Apple automations. This means you can trigger any other device in your Apple Home app based on the status of the temperature or humidity sensor. For example, maybe you have a dehumidifier you want to come on when the humidity reaches a certain level. And this is brilliant and makes it really useful because it works with absolutely any device in the Apple Home app and not just Meros devices. And of course, because you're using the Apple Home app, you can also use it for things like when someone is at home or between certain hours, or maybe when the last person leaves the house. This gives you kind of infinite possibilities based on the devices that you have in your smart home. So all in all, is this smart temperature and humidity sensor from Meros any good? So with a really compact design, the ability to never really need to change a battery unless you do put it in the fridge, and a really good accuracy, I think this is actually a really good device. And where it becomes really useful in my opinion is its HomeKit compatibility. And that's because you can tie it into all kinds of automations in your Apple Home app, and also see the temperature across your house just from a glance, combining with other temperature and humidity sensors you might already have, things like HomePod minis. If you do wanna pick one up, I have put a link below. And as I said, there is a discount code that you can use as well, which will save you 10% on your order. That is an affiliate link, so I will get a small cut of whatever you spend, but that just helps me out with this channel because this is something I do for fun. This isn't something I get paid to do. If you've got any questions, do stick them below. Please give this video a like, consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you guys again soon.